day guys flip here so today I've got for you the tutorial uh, on how to make a color aimbot um, my bet is you've seen my previous video and you've just seen this one or you just fallen into this video that's fine uh, so basically I'm gonna show you this aimbot at work and then you can decide whether you want to follow the tutorial yourself or not but um, if you haven't created a name bot before and you're interested in hacking I highly recommend you follow this tutorial as I think you'll learn quite a bit um, or at least find out a couple of things um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the aimbot quickly and then uh, we'll start with the tutorial properly okay guys so here we are at the game I have I spent a couple rounds because I forgot to modify one or two things but that's fine it's all taken care of now so that's alright and I had to sort out one setting or two now just before I do this I'd like to let you know that I've never played Counter Strike properly so in total I've probably got about um, I'm just going to turn on the hack quickly probably got about two hours lifetime played on Counter Strike so I've only used it for hacks so I, I'm telling you that because I don't want you to think that the uh, aimbot doesn't perform well because of me so you see that there so as you can see right there uh, the aimbot tends to just aim at them so as you can see that guy just aimed at it by itself so I'm just gonna do that so he's gone one thing I also did in the settings though is um, disable the ragdoll physics and now what this means is that um, once an enemy dies they don't do the ragdoll effect and they don't just disappear uh, well they, they exactly they just disappear which means uh, when we're scanning it won't look for them at least for their colors so that's quite useful and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not a cheat so you can do that in any uh, uh, source game so um, I'm gonna try and beat these guys to kill that guy but um, yeah I mean there's nothing to this um, you've probably seen the uh, I don't waste more time than I have to here you've probably seen the um, I'm gonna go after this guy um, you've probably seen the examples or my preview video hopefully you've seen that and that will make everything easier for everyone so as you can see there I just took him out quickly two shots bye bye um, and that this is it. I mean, I'm not going to show you anymore because we we have spent a lot of time doing the actual uh, aimbot tutorial. But uh, I guess I guess if I were to show you this quickly, I would do um, I would do this. So create server. I'm just going to do something quickly so you can get. Hopefully, this is especially for those of you that haven't seen this yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this um, in action uh, with uh, friendly, so that way you can see exactly how it behaves. So I'm just going to turn that off. Just select that. Uh, weapon is highly relevant. I guess I can get a quick sniper so you can have a look at how it behaves. But here you go. So there's the guy on my team, and now the aimbot's in action. Now because he's on my team, I'll be able to aim properly without him interfering. Because it turns out bots are actually pretty good. Now I will do very little amount of gameplay throughout the actual tutorial because the code is all set out. So you see that? So look at that. Look, I'm not even moving my hand. So. I know people don't like me clapping on the mic, but that's how it goes. So if I were to do this, as you can see there, it's just aiming at his head and it just focuses on them. So if I let it go, it just it just keeps chasing them. You can see there. I can do it so it's auto-triggered, so it shoots as well straight away. And that's it pretty much. I do the shooting myself. But that's that's it. There's nothing to this, guys. It's just a nice aim what follows the enemy around. Follows whatever color you want. So as you can see, there you go. You can jump all he likes. I'll follow him exactly. I don't know what he's jumping. But it's quite useful that he's jumping. So as you can see, I'm not actually touching the mouse or the keyboard at all right now. And that's all it does. It facilitates things for you. So um, I'm not going to show you any more on this now. Hopefully you understand what the same bot does. And we're going to get on with the coding now, alright? Alright, let's go for it. So here you can see a couple of quick clips where uh, the aimbot's in action. Now, I haven't done anything here, so on these clips there isn't any of my own shooting. Everything is being done by it. So feel free to uh, go back a tiny bit and replay that. You can see this in action. Um, I had to take out the sound just to make sure I don't get in trouble with Valve and YouTube doesn't take the video down. So sorry about that. Yeah, so just check out how smooth it is. You may not notice it, but you can tell if you pay good attention, you'll notice it's a bot. So if you're unsure, just go back and check it. I haven't done any of the movement myself, so let's keep going with the tutorial. Okay, so one last thing I wanted to mention before, before we actually get on with the tutorial. This can work for absolutely any game, okay? 
So um, some games it may not work because they may be designed differently, but pretty much any game from things like Call of Duty I've tested it in, any Valve game it will work in, it will probably work for combat arms and all other kind of BS like that. So I know a lot of people tend to say, can you do this for this game and whatnot. If you do this tutorial, you will be able to get it to work for any game. Now the only thing you need is some cams. Right, so if you don't know what cams is, just Google hacks cams, and you're gonna ha have to get those yourself. If you can get those, you can get this working, okay? So that's all you need. Once you've got that, you can get the aimbot working nicely, okay? It'll work better in some games than others, but it'll work in every game, okay? So I just like to state that, make that clear for everyone, because I know some people are gonna mention that a lot, and I just wanted to make that clear, please. So uh, let's just properly get on with the tutorial, and I uh, hope you enjoy this. Okay then guys, so you should have a folder um, called Files Required or whatever in your YouTube description. Now if you've seen this from my site, then it'll be in the attachments. Um, so I'd just like to go over a quick um, advantages and disadvantages of this um, compared to the normal aimbot. I'm only going to go over the main ones and uh, there's a few more, but um, I want to keep this quick and uh, straightforward. Um, so obviously this is a color detecting aimbot. So like anything else, um, there's always chances of failing. So, uh, for example, if a player is near a dark area or uh, a lighter area, the color will change technically. So you're looking at, um, for example, if you're looking at a range of a solid blue, uh, if it's in a dark area, it'll be a dark blue. So that means it won't detect it, it won't shoot, which means the aimbot won't work as we want it to. And where if it was a struct based aim, uh, aimbot with uh, memory addresses and all that good stuff it would uh, detect every time because it's not actually checking any pixels or colors now our aimbot does have some advantages as well which is one of the main ones main ones is it's undetectable so um, because it's not injecting anything into the game it's not doing anything like that we're just saying look at that window and from windows we take um, screenshots of the desktop that's why we need the game to be window in windowed mode um, so we just take screenshots and uh, we move on with it so and then we work with those screenshots so that's why this is actually fairly fast I mean uh, overall people tend to complain about color rainbows but I think the way I did things it's fairly efficient it can probably be a bit more efficient if I make some uh, um, changes to it I guess and improvements uh, but um, for this tutorial I think it's quite good and it's usable so uh, I think that's it for that. Do, do, do. Obviously, this is nothing compared. Well, it's not nothing, but uh, this isn't anywhere near as good as a, a struct based aimbot. But if you haven't created an aimbot before, this is excellent for you, hopefully. You'll learn how to do it, and this will help you in doing the more difficult aimbots. Um, although they're quite different. So, um, what I do recommend you guys do is instead of. Um, instead of just gonna. Uh, do this here with so instead of viewing this on YouTube I'd recommend you guys check it out on my website uh, now the reason the obvious reason for that is I'll just show you instead of so the clear advantage of being viewing it on my site is that um, so here's the main page of my site I really don't want to go over this for too long uh, I got a few messages irrelevant so let's just go on the forum the advantage of seeing it on my site is that basically you can see all my tutorials obviously right here and you can if I show you one of these the simpler ones you can see everything in one page so all the videos will be in one page uh, so everything will be here together with the downloads with some descriptions as well which will probably still be on YouTube and then you can download the full attachment and source so what I do recommend is you go onto my site which is guidedhacking.com uh, slash forum uh, or just guided hacking and then jump into the forum and then that way you can see everything in detail you don't have to skip videos on YouTube but feel free to watch them on YouTube you know that's fine I don't really mind um, so yeah so yeah obviously you guys do what you want um, you know if you prefer to view it all in one place my website is the place to be at uh, if you want to download stuff there you're gonna have to register though which is um, you know for a lot of reasons for me anyway um, but let's move on uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, that seems fine so make sure you download the files from the description or the attachment if you're on my site um, and let's get on with this so the things that you need for this you need um, if you want to follow the exact way I'm doing things you need counter-strike source which I know a lot of you guys have you need uh, counter-strike source you need um, counter-strike 
source bots so if you google CSS bots you will find it straight away because I did I just went and downloaded it quick and it should be quite simple what I'll actually do is I'll put it in this folder here as well so you should have in your requirements uh, your files required and um, you also need this hack but this is in your files required this will help you um, this will help you put cams on Counter Strike Source. Now, if you're using any other game, for example, Modern Warfare, um, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, whatever, you're going to have your own cams for them. So uh, just Google some cams and you find them, and you can do the testing, you can do everything you like. So this will work technically for any game. Alright, so uh, I think that's it. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, to make sure we don't do any more delays. I'm just going to go through the aimbot logic quickly because I've wasted plenty of time. So how does this work? So here you've got the aimbot. I've stolen some of this off my trigger bot tutorial if you remember that one. But the idea is very similar. On the trigger bot we took a uh, screen, uh, not a screenshot, we just grabbed pixels from a small area on the screen where here we grab the whole screen or at least the whole game window and we work with that what we do is we take a screenshot of the game then we get that screenshot and put it into an array a very big array okay of um, probably a, a couple of million pixels and then we loop through that array and we compare the colors so let's say we want to compare for blue we want to say is that color blue in the array so let's say this is the array for example uh, obviously an array isn't quite like this but this is the array and we go we find a color here this is white if our color is white then we'll say yes shoot or reposition the mouse okay so if color equals choice we reposition the mouse and what this means is it's always taking screenshots approximately every 50 60 milliseconds so take screenshots adapt 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 and that's what it does and that's why this is sort of um, resource hogging but at the same time you don't really need anything special to run this okay so a normal single core would probably run it just fine uh, unless you want to do the real hard scores hard hard score what the hell hardcore stuff and uh, really improve it but that's fine so I hope you understand that in this just happens continuously this isn't anything difficult uh, hopefully you just get your head around it I'm sure most of you guys will understand it okay so feel free to pause there if you didn't understand that and read it again sorry about my squeaky desk thingy Okay, so we're going to start the actual tutorial. Hope I didn't waste too much time there. Let's open up Visual Studio um, or DevC++, whichever one you've got. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just going to move this over here. We're going to create a new project. Um, new project. And uh, we're going to say Win Console thir uh, with 32 Console Window. That's fine. And what I'm going to call mine is I want to call it. YouTube um, color aimbot. You call whatever you like on yours. Um, da -da -da -da. So next, uh, I usually like to do an empty project because that way we take control over everything. Okay. So once we've got this here, we're going to create a couple of things, and uh, I'm just going to check. Okay, so we're going to start by doing is adding our header file and. Uh, C++ file, so let's add a C++, C++ file, main C++, main. so I do apologize if I sound a bit slow tonight, or I make too, I really hope I don't make too many mistakes, I don't want to re-record this, but um, I'm a bit tired at this point, because I'm a little girl, apparently, um, so we're going to call this one scan contents, and now, um, it's not really for any specific reason other than, uh, well, it's kind of useful to have a nice name for it. So what we're going to do first thing is we're going to do uh, our includes. So I'm just going to grab this file here so I can uh, compare with mine. Uh, da -da -da -da, main uh, basic concept, that's the one. So I'm just going to do this here, just going to comment some stuff out quickly uh, so we can make sure we write the correct code. And once we've got that, uh, we just uncomment that, and that should be fine. Uh, so here we go. Oh, for God's sake, it's got an email. I really should have turned my thingy off. Get lost email. Uh, okay, so let's get on with this. So first thing we want to do is we want to say on our main .c++, we want to say include. And what this obviously means, I'm going to... I've got to... Um, probably miss out the basic basic stuff because I assume most of you guys already 